This is a Canon scanner. You just put your paper in. Here's the tricky thing about this. These wings are flat. You just kind of lift them up. Give you a place for your paper to sit. You're going to put your paper in so that it faces you. Foot down. It's, it's a little crooked sometimes, but that'll be okay. Um, it will come through the scanner and come right back up here. It doesn't have to use any desk space, but it can if you like that. This lever on the side, if you press that down, it will start coming out here. So if you don't want that, just keep that up. One more button over here to the side. It's kind of odd is this little press button. You can go up and the light comes on. That's for heavy duty paper, business cards, um, just odd size paper. The scanning will slow down. It has to figure out where the paper is to feed it through the rollers. So you can leave that down. You can leave this one up. And then you can just press the button or you can use the menu. This is the shortcut, Capture on Touch, that's going to run the Canon scanner. Now you could have touched the button on the Canon scanner. But let me show you why it's better for you to open this up. I'll just open that up. On the right are going to be three shortcuts that we created for you. The one with the orange edge is the last thing you did. And the button on the scanner and this big green scan button always do what you last did. So by opening this up, you can change your mind or be better assured of what it's actually going to do for you. And if you don't open this up, it's going to open up eventually anyway. Go ahead and put your paper in your scanner and make your choice. Now, if I wanted to use any of these, I just click the button. Let me tell you what the three choices are. They're all going to be PDFs. This one's going to be color. If it's black and white, obviously it's going to be a black and white, but because you said do it in color, it's going to be a big file size. And it's going to OCR. You're going to have the text layer at 300 dpi, so a nice quality file. It's going to be a PDF. It's going to scan to your H scans folder. The next one down is grayscale, just no color. It's going to be slightly smaller because it's not color, but it's going to have the text layer, and that's really what bloats the file. And then the third one is going to automatically attach it to an email. On this side are going to be menus that you can use if you don't want one of these that we set up for you. If you want a multi-page diff, use that. You can poke around in here if you want, but really there's no need for you to do that. So at this point, I can touch the button on the scanner or I can click scan and I'll get this. But if I wanted something else, I'm going to have to choose it. So I'm going to pick this grayscale. It's going to scan at about 40 pages a minute, straight out of the box. They scan about 52 pages a minute, but we needed PDFs, we needed OCR, we needed color, so we made these setting changes. And it's a balance uh, for speed and for the um, things that you really need. So that's why we customize those shortcuts for you. It's going to scan very quickly. It shows you what your decisions were right here. I can put in more pages and continue to scan to this very same PDF. It hasn't been saved yet. I can cancel and discard all of this. It'll ask me if I want to lose all these changes <clears throat> or I can finish and I'll do that. Right now there's a prompt on my screen that you don't see. I'm going to click on open storage and it takes me out to H scans, which is where I told it I want it saved, and the name of it is the date. Today's July 30th, 2015, at 12.32.05 seconds. It creates directly to a PDF. I'm going to open up, up this PDF. And you can see that this PDF has got text, text layer. Some of it is covered up with this, so it doesn't know what to do with that. That's very typical. From here, you're going to do what we always do with it. PDF file in order to get it into Word. You have two choices. You can right click and you can copy and then go into Word and paste it. I'll tell you the disadvantage of that is the wrap around. There, this one doesn't happen to have a lot, but right here this is one continuous sentence. And if you copy and paste it, you're going to have a hard return after the word A and after the word little and after the word. You're going to have a hard return on all of these. Instead, if you were to do file, save as, Word, Word. Then it's going to be a Word file. You get the wraparound. L much less cleanup. And so you save it to your H drive or your desktop, wherever you want. You can't save it directly to file site. Cannot. So in Word, you would do file, local open, and go pull this open. Clean it up, do what you need to do, and then save it to file site. Let me show you what's going to happen. When I want to scan, let's do a scan to autocolor. Because there's nothing in there, it's letting you know. So you put your paper back in, and from here I can press the button or I can do scan more pages, but before I can do with either of those things, you've got to dismiss this. Nothing's going to work until you choose OK. If I scan more pages or press the button, it's going to do exactly what I did the last time. So I'm going to cancel this. Cancel will get you back to this main menu. I'll choose Auto Color right there. 
Again, it's going to just reflect what I've got going on here. And I'm going to finish this. And that's it. It's done. I can open the storage folder and see there's my second one. Not much difference. It was the same document I scanned. One was color, one was not. So it's not significantly different. If you're dealing with thousands of pages, yes, that would matter. I'm going to go ahead and scan the email. The name by default is the name it gets and you can't change it at that point because it's an attachment. This never went to my hscans folder. So you can see the name of it. So if you need to not have that be the name of it, you shouldn't have scanned it to email or you could have changed the naming scheme during the scan. I'm going to close out of here. Each of these have got their own pencil. You can So you can do it on any of them. I'm going to do it on this email in output. The file name is blank. In the details it is adding the date and the time to the end of the file name which is blank which is why we only get the date and the time. So if you don't want that I'm going to call this report for whatever you want to call it. If you want the date leave it. If you don't want the date you can unmark it. That's what I'm going to do and choose OK. Now this is the sticky setting. So when I close out of here, yeah that's the name of this file when I go to scan it. But it's a permanent setting so that may be more work than you're interested in because you're going to have to change it every time. It might be simpler for you to scan to your H drive and rename it accordingly and then attach it to an email like you usually do. There you go. The next scan going to be called the same thing, but it's only going to be can called that on this one. That's the only one I changed. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to wipe this out and say, yes, I do want the date and the time. If you don't like that one, you can go year for whatever it is that you want and choose OK. And I'll just close that. You can change the location of where your scans are going to be saved. You're going to want to do that in each of the PDFs and you'll have to do them each individually. Just click on the pencil and output one at the top. It says that it's being saved to a folder, but it's down below here that it shows you where it's being saved. Yours is probably being saved to my pictures. I doubt if it's been changed for you. You click on that down arrow and you can make other decisions based on where you might have been previously or browse. So you're going to browse out. Maybe you've got a scans folder up on your desktop. Maybe you have it down in your H drive. I've got an H scan, so I'm going to put it in there. If you don't already have a location for it, then you have the ability to make a new folder right there, call it whatever you want to call it. But I have one, so I'm just going to choose it, choose OK, and then close. And from that point on, all of your scans will be saved into that folder. There's a service tag on your device that has a phone number, toll free, and it has an identifier for your device. Call them if you have any problems. It also says you can call them for supplies, but don't do that. Call our own office services to bring you toner.